So now let's make a footprint. We're going to import this footprint because it is such a, a standard footprint for the resistor. We'll go to RCL, that's resistor, capacitor, inductor, and uh, here is the uh, capacitor 0805. Uh, and you know that because it starts with a C uh, is, it, is the designator. Um, but we're going to look for R0805 for resistor and in terms of differences there probably really isn't any difference. So we'll import this and a few things. Uh, first of all with my footprints everything I'm doing is in millimeters and so uh, unlike the symbols I'll make sure everything's in millimeters. And uh, here are the different layers. Keep out is one of the layers and what this is is a, a way of warning you when you're making your PCB layout of not putting one part on top of another part and again this is so small that that's probably not going to happen it's easier to stay organized but if you're making a large PCB with many components you just can't simply keep track of that you need uh, a constraint like that keep out and so I just made a rectangular keep out there Let's go ahead and import another footprint. Now we aren't using the uh, a capacitor that's a 0805. We're ma using an electrolytic, but I'll just go ahead and import this anyways and put on library. Just because it's in there doesn't mean you have to use it. It's available. If we made a design change later, we would have it. And again, I just want to show you how to do this keep out. Um, Basically, this region that I drew a rectangle, keep out rectangle in my keep out layer, I'm saying no other component can be there. And it will never make its way to the actual PCB production. Uh, it's only as a way of warning me if that accidentally happens. Now let's go ahead. I'm going down the list. We're going to import the LED footprint. And if I search LED, uh, I can find it right there, LED 5 millimeter, and this uh, actually comes with a 3D package too, so that's nice. And just to show you how we would change it in our library, I can click on this through hole, and uh, the way I would do that is I can use my selection filter, that way I only select the pad, select the pad here, and in properties, I can change the, the shape it is, the number. I want to change the name because to me it makes more sense to say that this is the positive since only a positive should be hooked up there and LEDs are directional and then I'll make this a negative so this pen's name will be negative. I can actually change the shape here and squares are usually uh, uh, they are oriented with negatives or grounds so I'll go ahead and make it a square and uh, just to show you how to change it you don't have to do it but uh, I think it's nice when you get the PCB and you assemble it yourself it's an easy uh, visual representation of where your LED uh, should be and since direction does matter and for the keep out um, I'm going to do a circle Oh, it's centered there you go so from the center I'll draw it out and if I accidentally fit something in the middle here it wouldn't give me a warning actually because it only uh, is if something is touching the keep out line but because Eagle Cat at this moment doesn't have a way of a fill circle we'll just leave it at that and the chances of fitting something entirely inside that circle are pretty low.